so Nintendo made this case for it years ago. Oh, cool. The games are in there. The power cable's still hooked up. All right. These are for a couple of the games because I, I wanted to cheat. You know how Take a look at them. Yes, sir. All right. Did you find anything else by chance? Oh, um, no. I have to look at my storage room. I know I got an old PS2. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I saw some loose discs. All right, cool. Yeah, it's all there. You want to do 50 bucks on it? Yeah. Okay. There's 50. I appreciate it. All right, folks, we got a package in today from GameStop from an order I placed last week. So let's go ahead and dive on in. This was a deal of the day for a brand new game. If it'll come out. They really got a package in here. Alright, one that I have not seen out in the wild, one that uh, I've, I've not seen at GameStop either, and that is Super Street the Game. I believe this was $39.99, 40 bucks, marked down to, I want to say $16.99 or $17.99, let me see. No, I, I, okay, so I take that back, it was marked down to $12.99. And then there was tax, there was, you know, shipping. Came out to $18.34. But a game that I've not seen. And I like racing games. So, definitely happy to pick this up. There you have it, folks. On to the next. Hey, Buck, you want to see our deal of the day? What is it? <laughs> it's the perfect kidnapping kit. It's her kidnapping kit. It's my it's a kidnapping, kidnapping kit. kit. It's called Kitty. See, it's all kitty. Yeah. 
Okay, folks, we got some packages in today, and I got a box here from Facebook Marketplace that I had shipped, and I got one here from overseas. So we'll start with this one. Not, not sure what we got going on here. I've got two games coming from overseas, actually a few, but I don't know which one this is. Take a look though. There's nothing else in there. Okay. All right. Yes, this was an eBay purchase. This is a game that did not come to uh, the United States in physical format. And it is a, uh, an exclusive to the PAL territory. And that is Wipeout HD Fury on the PS3. And it is complete. Not a scratch on the disc. That's fantastic. If you did not realize your PS3 is uh, region unlocked, region free, then by all means, try to pick up some exclusives that never came over here. And uh, that's what I did with Wipeout HD Fury. All right. The next package was all like Christmas wrapped. <laughs> Not sure why it was all wrapped up. But, let's see. Now we got some tape. I know what this is. This is, uh, I'm pretty excited about this. So, this package, someone in a group, um, out of South Carolina, posted about this listing and asked if anyone had picked it up they had found this listing on facebook marketplace now the uh the listing was posted an hour and a half away from where i live and so i searched for the listing on facebook i found it and i messaged the seller asking her if she still had one of the items that was listed on this post now it was for uh, yard sale items and the, the posting had taken place like three or four days prior. So I was for sure that it was gone. Well, she still had the item. And in the picture, it had a dollar price tag on it. And so I said, well, if I pay you shipping, would you ship this game to me? So I ended up giving her 20 bucks plus a uh, prepaid label that, uh, shipping label that I had sent, sent to her. So $27 all in. I paid her $5 a game just for her time of, uh, of packaging all this up for me. So we got the box with some, some air bubbles. Fantastic. So what I was able to get from her for $27, 20 bucks plus the $7 shipping, priority shipping, we've got Rock Band 3. And that's complete. Uh... There's the manual, the inserts, the game. So that's fantastic. That's about 20 bucks right there. Then we've got 3D Dot Game Heroes. Another fantastic little score. Now, when I messaged her, and this complete, um, there was only that one game listed on on Facebook. I asked her if she had anything else, and she provided pictures of more games, and uh, some PS2 games, and. Uh, some PS3 games. Then we've got Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Complete. That's going for about $25 to $30. And the Breadwinner. And I've got to check the condition of this first. Oh my god, it's damn near mint. We've got Def Jam Fight for New York. Complete. And the disc looks great. She had this game listed with a dollar price tag. So I hit her up and I was able to get this plus some, some really nice games over here as well for a fantastic price. So happy to pick those up. And then a few days ago, GameStop's deal of the day was $9.99 for a pre-owned copy of Kingdom Hearts 3. I didn't have Kingdom Hearts 3 yet, and so uh, 
I went ahead and ordered it. And then I finally picked it up today. Well, when I went to GameStop today, she hands me the bag and I, it looked a little different. So I open it up. And here's the, uh, the price. You can see right there, Kingdom Hearts 3. And it was $9.99. She hands me a sealed copy of the Deluxe Edition. They had marked it down to pre-owned status. So she said, well, because we had these pre-owned and you bought Kingdom Hearts 3 pre-owned, well, this is uh, what you're getting. I was like, fantastic. That is so awesome. A sealed Deluxe Edition of the game. I was just looking forward to playing the game, and now... It's been upgraded and sealed, so I don't know. I might just have to keep my eyes out for a, a standard copy. But those are the grabs I got today, folks. I, I, I'm so excited. All of this is going straight to eBay. <laughs> On to the next. Okay, folks, my local uh, retro store opened back up today, and he is having 50% off all games except for PS4 and Xbox One. And I have got a huge stack right there already bagged up. I'm finding more good stuff like SmackDown Here Comes the Pain for two bucks. Uh, Let's see. Shaolin Monks for two fifty. Here's one I've never even heard of. <coughs> Cold Fear for four bucks. Some good stuff. Good, good stuff. I've got a whole bunch in the bag already. But I'm looking for more. Looking for more. Let's keep looking. Okay, folks. I just got back from my local retro store. They've been closed for months and he opened back up today at 11 o'clock and was having a 50% off all games except for PS4 and Xbox One games. So uh, I, I went in thinking, well, I went in and spent $185.76, as you can see, but uh, I went in thinking that he would have like, you know, Super Mario 64 still at like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. I, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm about to score. But he had been working and sold a lot of stuff on eBay during the lockdown. However, <laughs> we got four bags full. And I got some good stuff. Some stuff that I needed for my collection. And I bought like multiple copies of games that I found. And I caught him slipping on so much stuff. Now, here's the thing about his store. For some reason, a lot of his games are not complete in box. Like, a lot of them are missing manuals. But that's fine, because these deals were still, you know, you know, too freaking good to not snatch up everything. So, we'll just go through these bags. Alright. Here's the first bag. First game off the top. We got Cold Fear for $4. Yes, I'm in. This game, I don't know, it's going for stupid money right now. No manual. But it's going for, I think, more than 20 bucks. Another one for Flip. Uh, Lords of Shadow for four. 
and that may be complete. I don't know. All right, then we got one that I've just never heard of that I'm putting in my collection. I've never seen this game. Swashbucklers Blue versus Gray. Two bucks. Man, I can't pass up a two dollar game. No manual. Some of these I got for 50 cents. Here's a PlayStation exclusive. High velocity bowling. Did not have that. A dollar fifty. I'm in. I'm in for a buck fifty. The House of the Dead Overkill Extended Cut. Two bucks. That's selling for way more than two dollars. And it's complete. Fantastic. Here's one I needed for the collection. The Devil May Cry HD collection. I think I need this. If not, it's still worth more than four dollars. Here's one I did not have for a dollar. Never dead. It's not an expensive game, but for a dollar, I'm in. I'm so in. All right, here's one I've been looking for forever. Eternal Sonata for three fifty. Oh yeah. There's the game. It's all complete. Fantastic. Uh, Digimon World 4 for 5. No manual. Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds for 250. You know that sells for more. There's another copy of it for 250. Okay, got the game in there. We got Playboy the Mansion. I've never come across this game. $5. I'm in. Got some Wii games. We got Mario Super Sluggers. Mario Super Sluggers. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Uh, no manual. That was taped up. Simpson Hit and Run, two fifty. Come on, that's selling for more than twenty bucks right now. I'm in. Picked up some cartridge games. Check this out. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater for five bucks. Pro Skater Two, selling for way more than that. Way more than that, like thirty bucks. Here's one I did not have for the collection. Clay Fighter 63 and a third. Went ahead and picked that up for six bucks. Another one I didn't have. Blades of Steel 99 for four dollars. Uh, two copies of WrestleMania 2000 for 250. Well, those are easily selling between like I think 10, 15, 20 bucks now. And here's another good one. No Mercy for four dollars. This one's selling upwards of 30 to 40 uh, at, at the moment. All right, there's the first bag. We got more, we got three more bags, folks. Three more bags. Let's kind of straighten these out a little bit. All right, let's go on to bag number two. One I've never seen, Natural Doctrine for five. Okay, it's a PS, PS3 exclusive, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Another Cold Fear for $1.50. Come on. I'm in. Asura's Wrath for three. Another Asura's Wrath for three. Another Eternal Sonata for $3.50. Shadows of the Damned uh, for three. Let's see. Birds of Steel for three. House of the Dead Overkill for two. Another copy of that. Another copy of it. I think I ended up with like, I don't know, two, three copies of it. I just sold a complete copy of this for $35. This is missing the manual, but for five bucks, come on. That's selling for more than 20 right now. 
got another copy of Asura's Wrath for three. And the last game in that bag, another copy of Asura's Wrath for three bucks. All right, moving on to bag number three. We got The Suffering Ties the Bond for $3.50. Digimon World Data Squad for four bucks. Here's one, very uncommon. Raw Danger. <laughs> 250. 250 for Raw Danger. Does it have the manual? No. Uh, getting up for a dollar or 50 cents. 50 cents. Here's one I've never come across, Gallup Bracer 2006 for two bucks. Legaya 2 Dual Saga for two bucks. Here's another uncommon one, Firefighter FD18 for a dollar fifty. Missing the manual. Just about all of them are missing manuals. Oh. Here's one I did not have. Premium pack, Mortal Kombat Deception for $4. Another Simpsons Hit and Run for $3.50. Is that one complete? Nope. That should still sell for over 20 bucks. Here's another one that sells for over 20. Battle for Bikini Bottom. I can tell there's no manual in that. Here's one that I sold to a friend of mine, and now I've got it back, and we got Rogue Galaxy for three bucks. I think I sold it to him for like 14 at the time. Dark Watch for four bucks. Gungrave Overdose for 250. Tony Hawk's Underground. Now, the orange stickers were because they have scratches. So 50 cents off of that, simply because it's got scratches. Well, I've got the JFJ. And it's got some scratches, but, I mean, nothing too bad. I can easily buff those out. Those aren't bad at all. And Tony Hawk games, they're selling right now. I'll take that for 50 cents. And another copy of Gungrave Overdose for $1.50. We got one more bag, folks. I told you, we got some good stuff in here. All right. Smackdown, here comes the pain. You ready for this? Two bucks. It is missing the manual, but, I mean, this game is selling, like, hotcakes right now. That's easily over 30 bucks right now. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. I just sold a copy of this for... $25.99 plus shipping. So for $2.50, <laughs> yeah, I'll buy it again. Here's one I did not have that's going in the collection. Beautiful Joe for $1.50. Let's see what else we got in here. Another copy of Chaos Bleeds. This is for the Xbox for 2 bucks. Ace Combat Zero, The Belkin War, $1.50. Yeah, that's like a $30 game right now. I'm telling you, I call this dude slipping. <laughs> Chaos Legion for two bucks. Capcom game, didn't have it. That's going in the collection. Evil Dead, Fistful of Boomstick. I had this in the collection, I sold it. So, got it again for two bucks. I don't think it has the manual though. Mine was complete, but I'm not worried about it. It's going back in the collection. Then, the last game. Makai Kingdom Chronicles of the Sacred Tome. Tome. Two bucks. Never heard of this game. Never seen it, but it's NIS America. Come on. So there you have it, folks. I mean, you tell me how I did for $185. $185. I mean, some of these are all twisted up around now. 
185 bucks. I'm going to sell the shit out of some of these games. All right, folks. On to the next. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Pretty good. Is that everything? Yeah. I get. Oh, I just got. Mom, if I take a look at it. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this rain came pretty unexpectedly, I guess. Glad we got it, though. Oh, yeah, we needed it. Get dry again. My grandson had it. He bought him an Xbox. Yeah. My Xbox quit on me. I like racing. He won't race with me because I don't run and he gets mad. <laughs> me and him don't fly. Yeah, it looks like everything's here. Cool. 150 bucks? Yes, sir. Already. Count that, make sure it's all there. Nintendo made this case for it years ago. Oh, cool. The games are in there. The power cable's still hooked up. All right. These are for a couple of the games because I, I wanted to cheat and know how to do the levels. But yeah. Um, controllers. That's a controller. Um, so you can oh, you like sit an extension from, cable. Yeah. yeah, cool. And the uh, this is the um, A B cable. All right. The controllers. If you shake it, you can hear like something's loose, but they do work. Yeah. I okay. Tested them. I've never seen this case before. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It. When, I, when we got the system, I said, man, that would be handy to just house everything in it and not have to deal with everything being loose, so. Yeah. I've got almost every single N64 game. Really? Yep. Yeah. Um, down to like, I want to say 35 or 36. Mm -hmm. Cool. And this is one that I need, a fine dragon. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So you've good. never seen that box before? I've never seen the box. No, this huh? has, let's see. This has the, um, the standard pack. Yeah, okay, cool. And you want 125? Yes. Alrighty. Count that, make sure it's all there. All right, awesome. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go over what is for sale versus what I'm keeping. Everything here in front of you is for sale. These are all doubles or games I already have or games I don't care to put into my collection. A few loose discs. I will bundle those most likely with the PS3 that I picked up. The uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, I found that on the PS3. I had a copy on the 360. I'd prefer the 360, I mean the PS3 version. 
So I listed the 360 version for sale. There we, there we go. We'll go over that little stack. All right. Several Asura's Wrath, a couple of Overkills, House of the Dead. All right, next stack. And here's the next stack, all for sale. We've got the uh, the wireless receivers here, the dongles for the controllers. Uh, two black ones up there. There's a copy of NCAA Football 14 and 13. And another copy of NCAA Football 14. And now this PS3 is a super slim 12 gig. These are selling with a controller right now for about a hundred bucks. So there is another stack of PS3 stuff all for sale. There are a few games out of this lot that I kept. We'll get to those later. All right. And here's everything for sale from the N64 lot. This system was really super clean. Uh, the games were probably the best condition games I've ever come across. They were bag kept, and majority of the labels don't even have a scratch on them. But there's everything from that lot. And now it, it, it came with the expansion pack installed inside the uh, storage container that it came in was uh, the actual OEM uh, jumper pack. So I just put that back in there and we're going to sell this separately. There you have it. And now we will move on to some more items for sale. Or well, one more item for sale. And that is... Forza Motorsport 7. Let's move on to what's going into the collection. Okay, well, first thing going in is this awesome N64 case. Where am I going to put it? I have no clue. This thing is huge. It's going to take up a lot of room. I'll probably have to store it in the closet for now. But the top here opens up to store the console and games. And then the bottom drawer here opens up. For you to store controllers and extra cables and whatnot it did come with uh some inserts for the nintendo 64 uh, console also came with all of these manuals so i'll be holding on to all of those and then we got some strategy guys uh, strategy guides we got banjo tui donkey kong 64 and banjo kazooie all right, on to the next clip. All right, more games going into the collection. Got some awesome PS2 titles. Some pretty uncommon stuff. We got Clay Fighter 63 and the third, NHL Blades of Steel 99, and Flying Dragon. So I believe that makes either 35 or 36 games left. World of Outlaw Sprint Cars, <laughs> very, very uncommon on the PS3. Uh, it only came out in the PAL territories, and I've searched uh, quite a bit tonight on eBay to find a copy for sale, and I can't find a copy. So, no copies on eBay, pretty uncommon. Picked up a lot of PS3 titles at the 50% off sale. as well as all these PS2 titles. All right, on to the next. Okay, and the last of what's going into the collection, a couple of PS4 titles, some PS3, one Blu-ray, and we got the Steelbook edition of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Wipeout HD Fury. PAL exclusive for the PS3 and the sealed deluxe edition of Kingdom Hearts 3. Folks, there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon when you do 
so you receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tatted Collector, and have a good one.